Chapter 1, Mishnah 3. The Mishnah now returns to the main subject of the tractate and discusses the collection of the Shekalim. We now turn to the words of the Mishnah. Ah, on the 15th of the month of Adar, money changers would begin to sit in the province, i.e. Jerusalem, so that people from foreign countries could exchange their coins of a different currency for the shakalim they needed to give for their obligation. As the final due date of the shakalim drew near, measures were taken to ensure that everyone would give their shakalim. Ah, on the 25th of Adar, the money changers would begin to sit in the temple area to remind the people to hurry and bring their shakalim. From when the money changers began sitting in the temple, the court's officials began to seize property from people who did not bring their shakalim, bring in their shakalim at this time, in order to force them to give their shakalim. The court did not force everyone to pay, either because they were not obligated to give shakalim or for other reasons. The Mishnah now teaches who was forced to pay and who was not. From whom do the court officials seize property if they do not give the shakalim willingly? From Levim and Yisraelim, but not from Kohanim, as the Mishnah will explain later. From converts to Judaism and freed Canaanite slaves who are treated as converts, because all of these are obligated to give Shekalim and have not done so. But they did not seize property from women, Canaanite slaves, and minors, i.e. youths under the age of 20, because all of these are not obligated to give Shekalim at all. Another law regarding Shekalim of minors. In the case of any minor whose father though not obligated to do so, began to contribute a shekel on his son's behalf, the father may not cease contributing for his son in future years due to the rabbinic decree. The law of seizing property in regard to Kohanim. We do not seize property from Kohanim even though they have an obligation to give shekam and have not done so because this preserves the ways of peace.